Hi, my name is Jaime and I'm a professional MMA fighter at a Cobra BJJ in Plano, Texas. Whether I'm training for a fight or just need a boost, Advocare has the product Spark that gets me through the day. I really enjoy drinking my Spark. It's sugar free and plus it comes in seven different flavors so I always have a different choice of what I want to drink. Hey, I'm Diane at Bummer Bell, XKL Lightweight Champion, and when I want to take my training to the next level, I use C Sports Challenge Suit. Wearing the Challenge Suit forces me to be more technical, and when I take it off, I'm faster, stronger, and more explosive. I've used other weight suits, but the Challenge Suit is like a constant pressure. It's on your chest, it's on your back, it's on your arms, also on your legs. And on a scale of 1 to 10, I rate it a 9.5. What's up everybody, this is Matt Hunt. We're here watching the XKO 18 fights here at the gym in Arlington, Texas. We've got an exciting co-main event for you with Amber Stotzenberger as well as Asha Allen, followed up by a main event with Hayward Charles and also Kano Gregorius. You're watching Ultimate Fan Fighter League and we're bringing the fights to you. We're here with fellow fighter and teammate Sean Douglas. We're asking him about how he feels for his fight. Um, Sean, how do you how did you train for this fight today? Uh, like I said, I feel like I'm in the best shape of my life. Um, you know, I'm gonna do everything I, that I was taught to do. You know, just right. be smart, be sharp, and fight hard. Do you know anything about your opponent? Uh, I just know he's got he about to lose. That's all I know about. <laughs> That's, it. That's what's up, man. Lastly, do you want to thank anybody, man? Just thank God, my teammates, uh, my boy Matt, Mole MMA, Strauss, the gym, Velocity, uh, everybody helped me out this fight. I love y'all. Bring home the W. So. Are we rolling? What's up, everybody? This is Matt Hunt. I'm here with the main event, candidly, with Hayward Charles, man. Uh, real quick question, bro. May I get a prediction on tonight's fight? Uh, you can predict uh, Hayward the Hybrid Charles as the winner. Uh, we get to win the first round, you know what I mean? Worst case scenario, I'm ready to go the third, either way. Word up. Second, are you willing to show us um, your secret Hayward Hybrid um, suit? Are you going to share the ingredients with us tonight? <laughs> this is, um, I'm not even sure where this is from. My mom got this one. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Any it's a sweet and sour soup. It's a Chinese soup. Right on, man. Um, last is there anybody you'd like to... Uh... Hey, man, you're <laughs> I'm about to get in a fight right now. Last thing, is there anybody you'd like to thank, man? Any sponsors out there? Anybody that helped you prepare for yeah, this Yeah, I want to thank uh, all my sponsors. I want to thank uh, C Sports. Uh, I want to thank Born to Bank. I want to thank Robust. I want to thank uh, uh, Brooklyn's Best Pizza. Yeah. Mr. Stevens, uh -huh. <laughs> while, we have you, while we have you here, sir, um, may I ask your prediction on tonight's fight? Uh, it's going to be a tough fight, and uh, I'm going to say GKM in the second round. Word up, word up. How have you uh, trained and prepared for this fight differently than your last fight? Um, <laughs> oh, I've actually been... Uh, and uh, wrestling a little bit with Donnie Bell. Right, right. A little bit more jiu -jitsu, and, Okay. Uh, I haven't actually been uh, in, uh, in jail for this fight. Man, that's great. That's great to hear. That's what's up, man. You know, um, anyways, is there anything, anybody you'd like to uh, uh, thank? Any sponsors, man, that helped you train for this fight? Uh, get you ready, man? Mainly my parents, uh, Born to Bang, Robust, Andy Drinks, C Sports, Babushu uh, Kai Karate, and. Uh, Sushi Domo and Bikini Sports Bar and Grill. What's going on everybody? This is Matt Hunt. I'm here with the first bout of tonight. Humberto Martinez, man. How's it going, buddy? How are you, sir? Word up, man. Word up. So first of all, I just wanted to ask, uh, where do you train at? I train at a uh, Molars Mixed Martial Arts in Capel and also uh, at a Dallas MMA 300 in Harrison, Texas. That's what's up, man. Do you know anything about who you're fighting tonight? Yeah, uh, he's a really experienced amateur. He lost his first pro fight, but uh, all his 
Spencer by submission. He's a tall, rangy, lanky guy, so I'm gonna have to stay off the ground with him. For sure, man. Um, what is one of your strengths you feel that you I got feel, over here? I feel like my strength is uh, my athleticism, my right. speed, and uh, my stand here. Well, um, is there anybody you'd like to thank, man? Any coaches do that helps you? Directly? Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, everybody at Bola's Mixed Martial Arts, both Brian and Brad Cox, Chris Jones, they're helping me out on every Saturday, Tuesday, and Thursday with my stand-up. Uh, Michael Craycraft, who's a uh, trains with Machado, okay. helps me with my jiu-jitsu, my MMA, and uh, Tony, Tony out of uh, Dallas MMA 300. What's up, everybody? This is Matt Hunt. I'm here with Sean Malone, Cage Authority. Here to get some predictions and some opinions on some fights, man. What's up? All right, well, uh, we're here at XKO 18. Um, probably one of the better cards that the XKO has put on in, in a while. They had some issues with the last card. This one, they look like to rebound um, in terms of quality of, uh, of opponents and, and even match uh, matchmaking. So, I'm actually excited. Uh, uh, first female fight in XKO history, Amber Stotzenberger and uh, Ashley Allen. Um, I'm predicting that to steal the show just because you got two hot girls fighting. So what can go wrong? Um, and also, main event, the hybrid. Always an event with the hybrids involved. Definitely. Uh, I mean, I'm predicting another uh, submission victory. You guys are watching Ultimate Fan Fighter League, and we're bringing the fights to you.
da very dangerous and very victorious Derek Perkins. What's, What's up, up What's up, baby? So, tell me about the fight, man. How'd it go? First round submission, man. Uh, it even surprised me, but hey, you see where I'm at right now. We win. What up? Man, what'd you do to train for this fight, man? How'd you, how'd you figure things out this time? Man, honestly, man, I did a lot of cardio. I know he's going to be pretty big, so I brought a bunch of big guys into the camp. Right. I actually did, uh, expected him to strike more with me. Uh, I didn't think he was going to want to go to the ground, but, yeah. you know, he went down there and my jiu took over. Right. Well, your hands were looking very nice, man. Is there anything that you like, anybody that you'd like to thank, man, or any spots you know that helped you out for this fight? Man, I want to thank Born to Bang, my family, you know, Born to Bang, get your Born to Bang t-shirt. Uh, Failings, Powerhouse, Real Fail, you know, everybody that show love, man. Mike T, Coach D, Killer Instinct Management, everybody that show love. What's up?
man. Man, what went through your mind when you were subbing it? In, in only 30 seconds, I guess it was a matter of? Boy, I don't know, man. I went out there just to win, you know what I'm saying? Uh, right. I started hitting him. I felt that he went kind of limp, and uh, I just snagged up a guillotine when he fell down. I was going to ask you, when did you know that you had it, man? Because it was pretty tight. Uh, as soon as I put my hand around him, I knew I was going to get it. Right, right. Well, that was a great transition, man. Um, yeah, thank you, sir. Lastly, bro, anybody else you want to you thank, man? And yeah, I just want to thank all my sponsors, Born to Bang, Robust, C Sports. I want to thank uh, Brooklyn's Best Pizza. They're out there in Arlington. Uh, you know, I got to thank uh, my gyms, Genesis, Ironside, Velocity. I've been training with Team Takedown. Uh, my mom and dad were out here. My stepmom, stepdad, or stepmom was out here. Uh, you know, my family, my friends, you guys, UFFL MMA. Word up. What's up, everybody? This is Matt Hunt. I'm here with Amber Stassenberger, the first women's female uh, XKO fight. Let me know how you felt and uh, what you did in your win for this fight. Um, I just felt motivated. I felt pumped up for this fight. Um, I knew where my mind was, was in the right spot. Um, I didn't have a specific game plan going in. I just knew her base was jujitsu, but she was ready to go anywhere. Um, I felt strong with my jujitsu as well. Obviously, I stayed on top the whole time. A um, little bit of ground and pound in there. Just unanimous decision overall. Right, um, and I noticed you did control her very well, and she is known for her ground skills. What do you think um, helped you overcome that in the fight and keep yourself dominating? Um, I've been doing jujitsu since 2006. Right. Like 2006. Um, lately, I've been working on just keeping my hips heavy, so I think that helps a lot. That way, she won't uh, try to sweep me, or you know, I lose a, a you know, what do you call it? a top-heavy right, position. Right. right. Um, well, once again, thank you for your time. Is there anybody you'd like to uh, thank? Any sponsors that helped you as well? Yes, of course. Um, I like to thank Amonoco.com, uh, Gamma Labs, M King Construction, Testing, and Michelle from Manova Richardson. Great. And, uh, of course, uh, my team at Motor uh, MMA. Once again, you're watching the Ultimate Fan Fighter League. We're here with Amber Stassenberger. She's victorious. And uh, thanks for joining us, everybody, at XKO18.